The recipe of the week is sausage and chicken gumbo. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to The Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Christy, and today's recipe of the week is sausage and chicken gumbo. Let's get to it. Okay, so one of the first things that you do when making gumbo is that you make a roux. Um, it sounds complicated, but really it's not. As long as you don't walk away from your roux, it will burn, and so you want to be sure to stick to it and stay with your roux. To start off with a roux, you're going to mix flour and oil together in a pot. Um, and I will put the recipe down in the description so that you can see the measurement amounts. But you're gonna mix that in a pot and uh, you're gonna stir it until it's smooth. And then you cook it and stir it over medium heat until it's light brown. It usually takes about four minutes I will say that the choice of oil that you pick and the type of flour that you choose may affect the ability for you to see the brown colors that you're looking for. Um, I use olive oil usually or, or either avocado oil and those aren't gonna make it as dark as like canola oil will. So um, I just usually just go with the four minutes and move on. Also, I will say that um, before you start cooking your roux, it is a good idea to have all the items that's gonna go in your gumbo, all the vegetables, all the sausage, everything already prepped and prepared. You won't have time once you start working on the roux to say, mince garlic or chop up celery. You'll get distracted and you'll burn your roux. So really, it's a great idea to go ahead and have all that stuff prepared before you ever start uh, cooking. And actually, sometimes I take my vegetables and sausage and everything, and I prep it the day before so that when I'm ready to start cooking this recipe, I don't have to take the time to prep all the ingredients that morning before I can even get that started. So that is a time saving for you if you're in a hurry to leave to go to work or something. Go ahead and have that done before you start cooking your roux. Okay, so let's get back to our roux. Once you let it go for four minutes, then you're gonna reduce the heat to a medium low. You cook and stir until it's a dark reddish brown. So I just go for about 15 minutes, being sure not to burn it. And then that's when we go to the next step. Okay, so once you've let it go for about 15 minutes and it's got a darker color to it, hopefully dark reddish brown, but um, you gradually stir in a three cups of broth. We use homemade chicken broth. This is a great recipe for homemade chicken broth. Um, and uh, all you do is gradually, like I said, gradually stir in slowly, and then you're going to transfer that to your slow cooker. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna spray my crock pot and then I'm gonna pour in the broth. And then we're gonna add in almost all of the ingredients. Uh, sausage sliced into about half inch slices. Uh, if you like okra, you would add that. Uh, we don't eat the okra ourselves, so we always skip that. <laughs> but instead, we put celery in ours. Um, green a uh, green pepper, a medium onion. Again, we don't do onions. We also have three gar garlic cloves, half a teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And that's all the seasonings that you put in there and you just put it in and you give it a good stir and then you put it on for uh, six to eight hours. At this point, it's been six or eight hours. Joel is now adding all the cooked chicken. We, you, we got that from a whole chicken. You can use a whole chicken or you can use a rotisserie chicken or pre-cook a couple of chicken breasts and shred them up, however you wanna do it. And he's also adding the uh, one more cup of chicken broth. Then you just give that a good stir and you basically let it heat through. Now what we do is normally we let this go for about 
six to seven hours and then we add the chicken and then we let it go for like another 30 or 45 minutes and um, then we make our rice and so by the time that we get the rice made it's been about a full eight hours that it's been cooking and uh, this is also an excellent dish to freeze and bring out again on a later date when and maybe it's cold or something and uh, as you can see we serve it with rice Joel uh, <laughs> basically showing us his tactics there <laughs> And um, that is the whole recipe. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below, and tell us if you have ever had gumbo before. And also, um, be sure to watch our grocery haul videos so that you can vote on the recipe of the week. And until next time, this is Christy with The Long Run with Joel and Christy saying, it's a long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.